Hey guys, we're going to get started today on our next phonics lesson. So you're going to be following along with Ms. Freeman on phonics lesson 107. And you're probably saying to yourself, wow, this page looks really different. This is a brand new activity. Um, you're going to start seeing this more often in phonics um, because it's changing just a little bit. But we're going to walk through it step by step today, so no worries. So in the box at the top, because we've been talking about those special letters called vowels that make two sounds, we're looking for all the vowels inside our box today. So you're going to go through your paper inside the box and circle all of the vowels that you see. So Miss Freeman is doing that on her paper. I'll give you a few more minutes to circle it on yours. And then the bottom is a lot like our sentences in the classroom that we do together during calendar. So someone would come up, they would read the sentence with a blank, and then we try to figure out which word would go in that sentence. So I'm going to give you guys about three seconds. I want you to see if you can read that sentence going across and leave the word out. Great job, guys. So I'm going to read the sentence, leaving the word out, and then we're going to look up. Is the word so, we, go, or me the word that we need to fill in the blank? So number one says, can blank fix the rip on the flag? Can so fix the rip on the flag? That doesn't make sense, right? What about can we fix the rip on the flag? Excellent. So we're going to add the word we in that blank. And so your paper should look like this. Can we fix the rip on the flag? Now, do you see that blend? FL. I want you to take your pencil and I want you to underline the FL blend that we see in flag. And then just orally out loud, Tell me, is that sentence a question or is it making a statement? Statement or question. You guys are so, so smart. That is a question because it ends with that special punctuation called a question mark. Good job. Let's look at number two. Can you try to read that one on your own? Hmm, Miss Freeman's going to try. The cat sat on so go or me hmm I think you're right the cat sat on me how about number three? Oh, I see another blend if you spy it yell it out do you spy it that's right that gr is a blend it's two consonants but I hear both sounds. So, the grass is blank wet. The grass is so wet or the grass is go wet? <laughs> That's right. The grass is so wet. And then our last one, we think we know, but let's just read it to double check to make sure our word makes sense. Can we blank swim in the pond? Hmm. Can we go swim in the pond? Very good. So we're going to write the word go in that blank. Now, I want you to put your thinking caps on. I want you to really think about my question. What do all of the words that we use to put in those blanks have in common? Hmm. I'll give you a hint. It's the skill we're talking about this week. That's right. It's the long vowel sound at the end. So in numbers one through four, we're going to go down through there and we're going to put a macron on all of the words that we added to our sentences. So that's going to look something like this. Over my E and we, over my E and me, over my O, and over my O and go. Because those are long vowel sounds. Now... I have attached for you below, I'm putting up a blend 
video that's going to be a review of that skill and also an older video that we've done with our letter sounds. So you guys can go over, hop to listen to, listen to those um, for your phonics today. Also, you can look on the back, always double check those high frequency words, make sure they're staying in your mind. And for those of you who have been reading in your Saxon phonics box, book number 11 is actually the one that goes with this phonics lesson. And so there's a character in that book that has the long vowel sound. So if you guys are looking for a little something extra to tie in your phonics and your reading today, that would be a great option. Again, that's in the Saxon book box and it's book number 11. The title is My Pal Bo. So you can go check that out and find more long vowel words. You guys did awesome today. Good work. See you next time.